Hey guys, welcome to my updated tutorial for farming grape and wildberry wine. In this video, we will go over my setup for harvesting grapes and wildberries, as well as crushing them into juice and brewing them. So what does grape and wildberry wine do? Grape wine increases the duration of all active buffs up to 5 minutes. At 1.0 quality, this gives 1 minute per drink. Wildberry wine increases the level of all active buffs up to level 3. At 0.5 quality and above, Wildberry Wine increases the level by one per drink. Really quickly, I want to show you how to use this farm. It's extremely simple. All you have to do is crouch on this pressure plate and hold right click to gather the grapes. You could do the same thing for the wildberries. As you can see, it really quickly gets you a stack of grapes. Once you have a stack, you can put it in the crushing tub, stand on this pressure plate, and right click with your bottles. This will rapidly crush the grapes into juice which you can then put into your brewing barrels for really fast and easy grape wine. Same for wild berries. And that's it. It's that easy. Now let's go over how to build it. Here are all of the materials you will need if you would like to take a screenshot. All right, let's get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is find an empty wall in your base. Then dig out two squares just like this. After that, place your two dispensers in these back corners. Then we'll dig a couple of blocks underneath them and one block right under the dispenser. This is where we'll put our redstone torch to lock the dispenser and then our two redstone dust going into the block. After doing the same on this side, we will cover the floor back in. Now we can place our two pressure plates one block away from the dispensers. Then we'll dig two blocks in right between them and the three blocks above them. This is where we will place our three redstone dust right here, here, and here. You will notice it waterfall down the side of the block when you place it correctly. Now we can come as far this way as we can and place our observer right on the edge of this redstone. When it's placed sideways, you'll notice the redstone start flashing. This means the clock is on. We can fill this back in and get our materials to plant the bushes. First thing we're gonna want is some greenhouse glass above where we're growing so that our crops can grow in any season. After that's down, we can place our dirt for the wildberry bush here and the bush on top of it. Then for the grapes, we'll place one dirt here next to the dispenser and two twine to grow the grapes onto. Now we can grow the grapes right on this dirt. I have my tick speed increased so it grows fast, but you can just wait for this bush to grow. If this bush right here is having a hard time growing, you can place a dispenser facing straight up right here, put one bone meal in it, and get a button or anything to activate it and this will forcibly grow up the grape bush right there after which you can break these and fill back in the floor and that's it for this next we will work on the crushing tub all right let's grab our materials for our crushing tub the first thing we'll do is find a corner of our base and dig out an l in the wall just like this all the way up a few blocks then we'll place a redstone dust here and a sticky piston facing straight up now, one block above the piston, we can place an observer facing down, and it'll get sucked up by the piston. Then we can jump on that and place one facing straight up the opposite way. Now let's place our block right here on the corner, and then our crushing tub on top of the redstone dust. After that, we can place our 16 armor stands right here so that they fall down onto the crushing tub. Be careful to do this slowly, otherwise you might end up putting an armor stand in the hands of another one, and then it's a pain to get it out. Once we finish that, we can put our piston right on this block facing downward and our final piece, the pressure plate here. Now, this will automatically crush all of our grapes. You're going to need a ton of bone meal for harvesting all those grapes and wild berries. The easiest way to get this is by mining bone blocks from structures such as this one, which you can do early game or later with a magnetic pickaxe. It's extremely fast. And structures such as this one will give you more bone blocks than you'll ever need. You can mine them once again with a magnetic pickaxe, or use tools such as a geonax spear to mine out huge columns at once. I love finding these structures with a geonax spear and then using a polarizing stone to suck up all of the blocks. Finally, let's go over my method for brewing wine. This slot right here is the sample slot. Here is the input, and here is the output. First, we will take six stacks of grape juice and put four each into all 12 of our barrels. Then we wait 10 minutes for them to brew. 
when not using any sample, the output will be between 0.01 and 0.75 quality. I recommend getting 0.65 to 0.75 quality for the first batch. This is why we're using 12 barrels to get a good first sample. Let's take a look at our samples. Here's an amazing 0.74. Now that we have a good batch, we will empty all of the barrels. With all of our barrels empty, we set up four of them with our best sample to start enhancing the quality up to 1.0. Now, if we brew four grape juice at a time, every time we get a higher quality output, we can replace our sample in all four barrels and repeat until we have 1.0 quality grape wine or for wild berry wine, 0.51 quality or above. 0.51 is so that the output doesn't drop below 0.5. After we get 1.0 grape wine, we can start brewing full batches of eight and using as many barrels as we want. And that's everything. I hope you enjoy this design and thank you for watching.